Hi and welcome to the Searching CINAHL tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to use the tools of the database to search CINAHL effectively and efficiently. Although research is never quick and easy, you shouldn't spend hours and hours looking through results and not finding what you need. Two important search strategies include using the best keywords and subject headings to describe your topic and using limiters to narrow results to exactly what you need. The hardest part about searching is coming up with the right words to use. Keywords are those words that you come up with out of your own head. Subject headings are the words that the database uses. If you're not an expert at medical terminology, these may not always match up. Recently, I had a student schedule an appointment with me because she wasn't finding many articles on her topic. She was researching how open visitation policies in intensive care units affected nurses' job satisfaction. So, she entered the following keywords into the CINAHL search boxes and then found no results. I'm sure that there are articles on this topic, so this is just a matter of finding the right words to use. So let's play around with these search terms in CINAHL a bit. The first thing I would do is simplify this search. Maybe take out the third concept, see if we can find anything with the first two. Okay, so we have 11, so that's a little bit better. The next thing I might do is, instead of this abbreviation, actually type out intensive care unit and you see that some suggestions pop up. So here's the suggestion to use intensive care unit or ICU or critical care. So that gives me more results because it gives me articles with any of these terms. As I start looking through these results, the next thing I'll do is pay attention to the subjects of the article. This is where you can identify subject headings to use in the search boxes. So I see the subject heading visitors to patients, there's one for nurse attitudes, both things that might be useful. Here's another one for visitors to patients. If I keep scrolling through visitors to patients, okay, I'm seeing a trend here. So I could go back up here and say open visitation or visitors to patients. Wow, and look how that expands my results. So it really is a matter of identifying the best subject heading, the best phrases to use when you're searching. Um, and the database will tell you the preferred terms that they like. So just pay attention, especially the first couple of searches that you do to some of these subject headings. Now I could go back in and add um, nurse attitudes, another subject heading that I saw quite a few times. And now I have a manageable set of results. From here, I could limit my results. And you have some limiters out to the left. For example, you could say, I just want articles from the past, oh, five or 10 years, whatever you want to choose. I cut it in half. You can limit to academic journals only. There are some other limiters down here. I usually always limit to English because I can't read any other language. And now you have an even more manageable set. There are additional limits to choose from. If you click on show more, you can see that you can limit to peer reviewed journals only, research articles only. Um, you could limit to randomized controlled trials. That probably wouldn't be appropriate for this topic, but maybe for some others and there's limits to publication types. Lots of options here for limits. So play around with those to see what you get. One limit that you don't want to check is full text and we'll talk about that in the next video. Until then be sure to ask Lila if you have any questions.